In Mangina, in northern Kivu, classrooms were empty on the first day of school. The area is considered the epicentre of the latest Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The kids aren't here today. Parents have told us that they are afraid of Ebola. They think school can be a great place to contaminate each other. Worried parents say they're not taking any chances. We want our children to get the vaccine first, before they start school. Only a fraction of the more than 82,000 school-aged children in the two affected areas have attended lessons so far this week. That's despite teachers receiving training on Ebola prevention and protection to avoid the spread of the virus. Well, we wish the kids would come. We'll wait this week. We'll continue with awareness. We'll see at the end of the week what the future holds for us. Since the outbreak was declared five weeks ago, it spread across two provinces, including in and around a conflict zone where dozens of armed groups operate. Health workers need military escorts to get to those in need. The World Health Organization says without a ceasefire, the disease will continue to spread and thousands of children will be at risk of losing more than just their education. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.